what is up i'm back again on this chill sunday sorry for the wind but you know we're outside we're outside as you guys can see in the background i got the missus missus car here we need we need to do some oil change i got some bags on my on my eyes man damn I need, wow, I need to sleep on my man. I've been staying up way too late. Been playing this game called Rise of Kingdoms, man. That, that's addictive. But anywho, yeah. On this Sunday, on this chill, relaxing Sunday, we're gonna be working, changing spark plugs, changing the oil, changing the oil filter. You know, just basically just working on the car, just, you know, let the time flies, you know what I'm saying? This is basically straightforward. I've done this, I don't know how many times. Basically, just in you know, order to get to the, yeah, get access to all the car packs, to get access to the spark plugs. First off, remove this uh, air box. All these spark, um, calls are uh, hold down with a 10 millimeter. Be careful when you. When take them off, don't um, you can lose them up, take them off, whatever. But when you tighten, when you put them back, make sure you don't over tighten these bolts, cause they have the tendency to snap. Trust me, I've snapped one, and it was a pain to get out. So yeah, the oil filter is basically down there somewhere, and yeah. So right now the car is that right now the car is not jacked up in air. Again, my apologies for the wind. I don't have a garage. I have to work outside. You know it is. We got the old style over there, you know, style with the with his boot with his ass up in the air. Don't worry. I kinda like it in the in the air. <laughs> yeah. But enough about that car. Let's be talking about this car. So yeah. We have to jack it up. I'm gonna check out the car as high as possible so I can, so I can shh, get down there and move around as freely as I can. Simple as that. But make sure when, when you're jacking up this, jacking up any car that is secured in the back with blocks. But let me show you guys. Again, the wind, man. I hate the wind. Make sure, like, since you can, you can jack up the car on this side up, get freely on it, get on it there. But, I, I want to jack up, you know, both sides to get it as high as possible. So basically, I'm gonna I put two blocks on each side, and we're gonna jack up the car as high as possible so I can get down there as smooth as so possible. So we're back. The car is all already on, already jacked. Um, I may pretty sure it doesn't move. See. That's a move. It's sturdy. It's sturdy. That's a move. Make sure that these blocks are all all the way in, so the car doesn't move backward. Same goes for the other side. Same go. I got blocks and also the jack for accident phones, same boat, same both side. Shaking it. Let's move. So now I got enough way enough room for everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get my what other is it? Some some cardboard blocks or something I can so I can lay down and start with the oil and all that stuff. So, so up here is very straightforward. Like I said, just this one tab here, um, one here, now here. Just move this and just, yep. So this, just put this to the side like that. And this, whoo! Boy, oh boy, look at this. 
you see if for the people that say um filters on are unnecessary look at this we need to change that too but this i think i don't know i think who look at that let's let's look at that don't, don't know if the camera can pick this up there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of dirt see but that but just gonna put this also to the side like over here and yeah don't mind this i just did the star wrap i saw a video of a tiktok guy, a guy on tiktok do something i gotta look up the video but until then yeah oh yeah and also for these clips since it's, it since it's sitting on the engine these clips get stuck so you gotta be careful you so that, so you don't uh yep that, yep just like that see just by just by pressing it look at here i broke up a clip so <laughs> yeah just like that just by pressing it wow and apparently i don't have any more tie wrap i'm gonna go get some more so yeah So, be sure, be careful. Like this one, you just, just, just pull, just pull this up. Pull this up. Come on. And just yank it out. Just like that. Okay. You gotta be careful with these. I'm gonna grab a, a, a flathead screwdriver. Gently pull this up and boat for this. I think I can put it in. It doesn't doesn't back out. The car this car doesn't make any vibration, so that'll be cool. So yeah, I'm gonna stop. Yep, all of them are out. One, two, three, and four. So let's start removing. So yeah, guys, the spark plugs are removed. This is in cylinder number one. Cylinder number two it seems like it has some kind of, I don't know, some kind of corrosion. I don't know what it is. This three is the same, four is the same. So, quick tip my, my friend taught me is that if you don't have that, if your socket like this one, the rubber inside acts like when you were moving it, it um, clamps on or clamps whatever on the head of the spark plug. Then you pull it up, take out the spark. Since this been you, since it's been been using it for how long the rubber with with the oil and all that and it the rubber inside wears out so my friend told me you can use the same you know the call packs it's like a mechanic hack you can use that to that's the same you can plug them up that's what i used so now time to put the new spark plugs back in and put everything back together and so I can go and move the oil filter. Something before I forget, it's always, 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 this is on the right is the old one, and the, on the left is the new one. Always put them side by side to see if they're the same. They're the same, these spark plugs are the same length. They're the same also. Just like an extra insurance so you don't, but if you go with the right um, part number, it shouldn't be a problem, but always on the extra insurance, just make sure you just check them. See, uh, you, get, you guys know where I am. I'm on the car, but the, this all filter, the usually, usually it shouldn't be that hard, but I got a rag, I'm about to remove it. So, yeah guys, um, 
I didn't, I couldn't move it by, I couldn't move it, move it with my bare hand, I couldn't find the clamp, so I decided to use like a, like a, like a tight, like this type of clamp, tied it down, push it, and, oh, 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 shit, let me try that, yeah, tied it down, push it this way, and, yeah, so now we come to the fun part, everything else is done. Call packs, spark plugs from change, all filled up and tightened. All um, if you can, fill like a like a quart or something, a quart or some in the oil filter. Since most when you pour the oil in, most of it goes to the filter. Then it gets sent out elsewhere to the motor. So it's best to put so because when you pour the oil then wait for a minute for it to settle you're gonna find like it's missing like a quart or some some that's that quart don't be afraid that quart went to the oil filter then you have to fill that quart up oh so, yeah everything's done top up the oil right on the mark and now just need to turn it on Plug. So I think, I think, um, all by now, job, job well done. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it idling for like up until upper temperature, and then I'm gonna check, shut off, and we check, we check the oil. Probably should, probably have, doesn't have to, so since it's top it off. But anywho, um, that's, this is gonna do, this is gonna do this video, um, hope you guys like it, hope you guys find it interesting, and hope you guys, hope to see you guys in the next video, yo, um, make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you guys watch the video, make, make sure you guys share this video, help go the channel, come on man, come on, come on, let's do it. Help your boy out. Come on. Help your boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.